May 11, 2013, that's the day that I graduated from this great institution, Eastern Illinois University. I actually took math classes upstairs in this very building. Now, I sit in this building as the mayor of this great town to discuss the economic impact that EIU has on our great community. <clears throat> Eastern Illinois University is a vital part of the Charleston economy. EIU is one of the top employers of this area, and then we get to factor in all the students. All of these individuals, whether they live here in Charleston, Greenup, Casey, Oakland, Mattoon, Ashmore, they all spend their money here in Charleston and in East Central Illinois. Eastern is more than just an employer, though. Eastern brings economic vibrancy to this community. It provides the small Midwest town with many different activities, cultures, and opportunities that many, compar many towns compar and comparable in size do not have. It brings in thousands of students who become a significant part of our community. Many of the things in Charleston are geared towards the students in this university. For at least nine months of the year, and sometimes year round, these students call this place home. There, uh, there are thousands of community service hours that are put in by these students. Many of those we do not recognize or even know happen. By now, most of us are aware that many EIU employees were notified of their impending layoff should a bill funding higher education in Illinois not be passed. The state owes EIU millions of dollars, which they have been doing without this entire fiscal year. Most of you also, like I have said, have a connection with this university. Whether you are a student or alumni or employed here or have a family or friend, friend, uh, friend affiliated with the university, Somewhere, most of us have some sort of personal tie to EIU. Any trouble comes the EIU's way, it's personal to almost most of us. This is our university, and those students and employees are our people. When people start to lose jobs, and they're being laid off, and they start, they start to watch their wallets even more closely. When the new washer or dryer that they wanted, they're unable to get. The new car that they thought about, they are not going to buy. Normally, their spending habits start, they start to cut their spending habits because their budgets become tighter. And even things such as health, there's health concerns and other expenses that they, luxuries that they like to have, they no longer spend money on. I come alongside you to urge our leaders of Spring, in Springfield to see the damage that this is causing, not to just EIU, but to other higher institutions and establishments across the state. I urge those that represent us from both parties come together and find a compromise that will bring these colleges and universities the funding they rely on. This is not about who's right or who's wrong or who's going to win. This is about our state leaders funding, finding a way to get these schools the financial support that they all need to keep going. I have reached out to our state senator and representative and spoke to them both on these matters and encourage you all to do the same. <clears throat> as I know many of you already have. And when doing this, take in consideration the time that these individuals are spending, not only for us, but uh, uh, their time as well. When we make ourselves heard, um, and we're talking to the different people in Springfield, it's, you know, it's one of the, we have to represent our community and EIU in a positive light, because that's what we are. We are a beacon of light for the East Central Illinois area. We have so much pride in our town and our university. I mean, look, Eastern is consistently ranked as one of the top colleges in the Midwest. Let's show our light in a proactive, constructive, and positive way, and maybe we can be heard even louder than we already have. These layoffs hurt. Most of us, most of those laid off rely on their income to provide for their families. Some of those laid off have dedicated their entire careers to EIU. Some of those will be sorely missed as a familiar, friendly face from students that are far from home. Some may find work in other areas, some may struggle, some may leave. During times like these, I think most of us feel either scared, angry, or frustrated that it has come to this point, and that's okay to feel that way. There is no way to justify what is happening, leaving so many people that we love and care about hanging in the balance. I hope we see this as an opportunity to all come together as a community and not to allow finger pointing and blame to divide us. It is more important than ever to look out for one another and band together and become strong together. 
Our elected officials are a part of our community as they live here, raise families here, and do business just as we do. Make no mistake, it is not an easy job. An unbalanced budget only drives the state further into debt, which essentially means that providing a quick fix funding to provide these schools um, still doesn't fix, fix the bigger problem for the future. Our state leaders have a big daunting task at hand, but I hope that they can see that we cannot wait any longer for, the, for action. Every day that passes is another day that Illinois residents continue in doubt and uncertainty. I've seen a lot of buzz already on news, outlets, social media, and print media. I can see that our voices are being heard. I will continue to be heard, heard as well, proudly advocating for EIU and Charleston because I am EIU and we are EIU. Thank you and have a blessed day.